dear fellow ASL members, greetings from Hong Kong and Happy New Year. 2022 marked the third year into COVID pandemic and with Omicron being more infectious but less lethal. Hopefully, this will be the last pandemic years. In the next several months, there are many exciting events. LSM 24 hours of laser and energy based device in cutaneous applications will take place on the 28th of January. Whereas it was free for all last year to support our membership drive, we have decided to make this year's event exclusively for our members only. Dr. Brian Wong has lined up an excellent program with editors, sessions, directors that include Dr. Rock Dennison, Dr. Stuart Nelson, Dr. Rob Geronimus, as well as many international renowned key opinion leaders. A wide range of topics will be discussed, including but not limited to what's new and next, preconception lasers, vascular lesions, what's new in drug and device for skin cancers, and devices in valvo vaginal applications. I would urge you all to register this event as soon as possible. Please also encourage your colleagues to join our membership. Despite COVID, membership drive headed by Vice President Dr. Murat Alam has been successful to maintain our current membership. As a membership carry many benefit and prestige, including the elections of our society future leaderships. We have excellent candidates nominated for various board positions this year. And I do urge you to vote as soon as possible, no later than the 1st of March. Another means to be actively involved with our societies is to become our committee members. If you're interested, please write to myself or our executive directors, Michelle Morrison. Recently, I, together with our annual conference program chair, Dr. Stuart Nelson and Dr. Fernanda Sakamoto, have written to invite you all to our annual meetings that will take place on the 27th to the 30th of April at San Diego Convention Centers. It was our pressure to announce two world-class keynote speakers for SM2022. The first one is Dr. Adam Patapotium, the Nobel Prize Laureate in Physiology and Medicine in 2021, and he will share how his laboratory identified and characterized the molecule involved in the sensing pressure. Our second speaker is Dr. Bruce Trumberg, the Director of National Institute of Biomedical Imaging and Bioengineering, NIBIB, at the National Institute of Health. Dr. Trumberg leads NIBIB rapid accelerations of diagnostic innovation initiative to increase SARS-CoV-2 testing capacity and performance. We have received over 260 abstract for this year's meeting, which is very close to pre-COVID submissions. We have doubled up our attendees' favorite, two cutting-edge sessions and two Tech Connect sessions. We have optimizing workshop on a wide range of topics, workshop on anesthetics and pain medications, legal issues and complications, as well as laser safety and office practice management. For multi-specialties, we have sessions on photobiomoderations, moderations, women's health, and GU. To enhance industry activities, we have increased sponsored workshop, power hour sessions, exhibitor showcases, and industry learning labs. The schedule allows plenty of time to see, feel, and touch the device and speak in real time with experts who help to develop and test these devices. We have two evening events and we'll wrap up the whole conference with a closing reception on Saturday. We have also introduced 100 new traveling scholarship for resident and young scientists to attend our conference. Due to current COVID issues, I do not expect a very strong international presence, but I do believe there will be an excellent domestic turnout. And I look forward to see you all in San Diego then. 
In terms of online learning centers, we are proceeding with a pilot trial to translate part of 24 hours LSM into Spanish. Our ideal committee's video will be released soon, and our financial positions remain to be very healthy. I do look forward to see you all online in January and meet you in person in San Diego in April. For the time being, be safe and be well. Take care.